Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning advanced coordinator for tutorials. This is our part number 12. Inside this video, we will see the concept of how to see database table using CSV file. In the last video, we had discussed the same concept that is database seeding, but we have used the concept of JSON file. Now this time, we will take a CSV file. So to understand the concept of database seeding using CSV file, we have an article over this blogging website. So if I back to browser, go inside articles, click on Codeigniter 4. So inside this Codeigniter 4 articles gallery, here as we can see that Codeigniter 4 database seeding from CSV file. If I click on this article link, now this article will provide you the complete guide for database seeding using CSV file. So to implement this concept, here we have a Codeigniter 4 setup. Inside this setup, what we have done so far simply, this is a setup where we have connected our database. If I back to browser, this is the database we are using currently, there is no table. So far, this is the database we have connected with this application, as we can see here. Now next, as we know that we are going to seed our database table using a CSV file. So we need a database table as well as a CSV file. If I back to browser, so to create a table inside this database, we have two options. The first option, either we can create via this manual tool by providing the table name, number of columns, click on go, then we need to select the name of column as well as data type values. But in the next option, we will create a migration file. By providing the table schema inside migration, we will migrate and create table inside this database. So if I back to blog article, scroll down, we will create a migration file. So here as we can see that create migration. So we will create a table called countries. By the help of migration file, we will migrate. Also we will take a CSV file. Inside that CSV file, we will have our countries data. And simply by the help of concept of database seeder, we will seed countries CSV file data inside countries table. So to create a migration file, if I back to terminal, let's say php spark make migration and we will create create countries underscore table. If I press enter, it will create a migration file and the migration file created successfully at location database and migrations. If I back to folder structure, reload this directory structure, go inside app, database, migrations and here is the created file. Inside this create countries table class, we have two methods, up method and down method. If I back to blog article, we need to provide our table schema. So here we have the code means complete code of that migration file. So simply I will copy, go here, get rid of this existing code and pasting it here. What basically this code means? Inside this class we have two methods called up method and down method. Up method execute when we run our migrate command. But when we execute our rollback command, so in that case this down method will be executed. Up method is responsible to create table structure inside database and down method is responsible to drop our table structure from database. Now inside this up method, by using object this forge, we have used few methods like add field, add primary key, create table. Simply we are creating a countries table with the help of all these columns and by making this id column as auto incremented id as well as a primary key value. Now next, we to migrate this table inside this database. So back to terminal, let's type php spark and simply I will type the command called migrate. 
this command will execute all printing migrations if I press enter wait to wait for a while and as you can see that done migrations if I back to database go and reload this structure and here as you can see that we have a countries table so inside countries table we have few columns as ID sort name name and phone code now next we need to prepare a CSV file if I back to blog article scroll down so here we have a section of prepare CSV file so simply here we have a button if I click on this button and this button actually providing a file which file contains a CSV file data if I back to blog article when you will download the given file it will be in .txt format as we can see here we to rename this file into .csv and place this file with the name as countries.csv inside public folder and data folder so to save this file what we have to do simply right click and click on save as so here instead of .txt we to put countries.csv if I click on this replace and successfully now we have saved our data into CSV format into a local machine now next we need to remove means we need to put our file downloaded file inside this folder if I back to folder structure this is our setup go inside public folder and here inside that we will create a data folder and inside this data folder we will put our downloaded file why we have chosen this public folder because the main role of this public folder inside coordinator for application is that this folder contains public accessible files and as we know that we are going to seed our CSV file into database table so that's why we have placed that accessible files inside this folder and one more thing after placing this file inside this data folder we need to make sure that this file has full privileges to read that if I back to terminal I am giving the proper permission to that file if you are using Windows operating system so don't worry at all because Windows operating system automatically takes care of the privileges of the files now successfully I have given that so now what we have we have a setup we have a migration we have a table and finally we have data now next to see this countries.csv file data inside this table we need a cedar file so by using spark command we will create a country cedar class file so before creating cedar file if I open this file let's open that to check our CSV file data so here we can see that this CSV file contains columns as ID sort name name phone code and these countries data so let's create a cedar class back to terminal php spark make cedar and let's say country and we will pass a suffix it means it will create country cedar.php press enter as we can see country cedar.php has been created inside database and seeds folder back to folder structure go and reload this directory structure so inside this app database here we have seeds folder and here we have country cedar.php file now next inside this class file means class method here we have a run method so all we need to write our logic means logic in the sense to read our csv data inside and insert inside countries table all we have to do our code inside this run method so before that we need to create a model by the help of that model we will insert our CSV file data inside countries table so we will create a model as country model PHP spark 
make model and let's say country adding a suffix which means that we will create country model.php file press enter country model.php file has been created inside models folder back to code editor go and reload so here we have app folder inside this app we will have models and here we have country model.php this model automatically points here as you can see inside this table variable here we have countries table and inside this allot fields we need to pass all the column names in which we are going to insert values so inside countries table we are going to insert values for this sort name name and phone code because as we know that id is auto incremented so we are not going to insert it will be automatically generated so if I copy this column name, sort name, pasting it here, next we have name and next we have phone code. So copy and paste. If I go inside this country cedar.php file, here we need to write our logic. If I go inside this blog article, scroll down, here we have create data cedar and here we have all the code of country cedar. So simply to save the time, I will copy the complete code of this file, go and remove this existing code and pasting it here. So inside this country cedar.php, here we have loaded country model and inside this run method, as we can see that we are opening our file countries.csv, what we have downloaded from data folder. And keep in mind, we are opening this file in read mode. Next, here as we can see that we have taken a variable as first line equals to true. It means when we read data from this file, the first line as we can see that it is all about the column name. So we don't want to insert this first ID, first row value inside our table. So that's why we have taken as a flag called first line equals to true. If it equals to true then we will not insert any value inside table if we get the other rows values as like id2 id3 so in that in those cases actually we need to read that data that row and insert inside table so back to editor so here we are reading our csv file we are checking that first line Obviously, at the first time, the value is true, so automatically it will return the false value, so this if block will not be executed, and the first true will not be inserted. Now, from the next cases, simply, it will go and create an object of country model by the help of insert method. It will insert our CSV data inside database table. So now, we have created our country seeder and finally we need to seed our csv file data inside table so to seed our database seeder we need to use that command php spark db seed and next we need to pass the class name so data seeder class name is country seeder copy and pasting it here if i press enter we need to wait for a while because data actually inserting and here as we can see that seeded successfully if I back to browser go and click on browse now here as we can see that successfully now we have inserted all the rows of CSV inside our countries table so successfully guys by the help of last video as well as this video now we have a concept that is how can we seed our database table using a json file as well as a csv file so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day